Hey guys, probably back in today another episode of Old Guys and Old Games and another game for the Intellivision Collector Back Library. This is IC002, right there, the show must go on. I put out a pure gameplay on this, I've played it in streams many, many times, but I've never actually done an Old Guys and Old Games episode on this, uh, this game. And it really is a fairly original game, it's from back in the day, it's a, somewhat of a port, somewhat of a inspired by a game called, I believe it was called Mr. Chin. Uh, spinning plates way way back when uh, but that being said to me it was very original because I wasn't familiar with that game until I did a little bit of research on it uh, so I was really happy to play this back uh, when this first came out in 2022 one of the first two with Vanguard games released by Intellivision Collector uh, and yeah one that really caught my eye so uh, if you have not played this game before take a close look because it's a lot of fun it's a lot of uh, it's rather unique but uh, without saying any further i guess here's my copy right here you gotta love it huh it's beautiful box art too you're a jester who's taken over from the evil jester uh and you gotta try to make the king happy uh by spinning plates and keeping things going so uh yeah, without any further ado let's play a little bit of the show must go on all right, guys, here we are with the ultimate flashback. The show must go on. Once again, you can get this game from Intellivision Collector, www.intellivisioncollector.com. You can get the physical copy right here. Beautiful copy. Uh, or you can get the digital copy as well for use on your ultimate flashback or your emulator or your LTO flash, whatever you have. So, yeah, I can't... Uh, can't imagine why you wouldn't want to get it. It's a lot of fun. You're about to see that. But also, there's a... Uh, a video I put out not long ago, the Television Collector logo coming up right there. This is IC002, as I already mentioned. So the second game they put out, uh, where there's a cheat code. There's uh, Secrets of the Television Collector is the video. I'll put a link to it right up in here and down in the description. And uh, you can check those out to find out how you can use cheat codes in some of the early Television Collector games uh to get further into it if if need be but uh, i'm going to play the regular uh edition here the just normal difficulty today um take a look at the credits real quick game by carlos madruga uh carlos makes some amazing games eh? and of course you know you have music by anders carlson fantastic music in this game really good music in this game as you can hear now uh plus manual box and overlays thompson bolden and jones doesn't get any better than that right all right, let's get out of here. Let's get into the game, and we'll see how it goes. See if I can get through. It's medieval times, and you were hired by the king as a new court jester. The king was tired of the existing jester and was looking for new entertainment ideas. Luckily, you happen to be a very skilled at uh, spinning plates. You have persuaded the king to organize a big variety show so you could show him your skills. However, the old jester is still around, and he is really jealous. But the show must go on keep the king entertained all right here we go spinning plates the first level first act is very easy so it starts right off here as you can see let's go i don't have all day the king is upset about his hair loss and it's different every time but uh, about his hair loss today so his mood is four percent let's boost that up a little bit let's get into the first act i have three retries left pretty hard to lose a retry here grab a plate up a pole and do it as quick as you possibly can audience at the bottom change them all green which means they're happy bingo well all but two are happy that's not too bad um that's good on to act two yes act one is that easy okay but we'll boost him up to 12 percent no flare yet we'll get flare as we uh, as i get applause for doing different tricks in the levels which uh aren't usually much tricks as they are just trying to survive but uh all right here we go again speed is important because it's the audience down below duck that duck that knife what are you gonna do even in this level there's not a big variety of what of uh attacks that he has for you it's mostly just the knife so it's not too bad so we'll get up and out of the way no problem but i've already ducked it once so you can't duck it a second time and get applause. It'll only give you the applause the first time. And there it is, La Act Two. But I had a few things to uh, avoid that time, but just the one different one, so I could only get the the one point, uh, the one flare point. But we did get it up to twenty-two percent. That's pretty good. But he's still calling it boring, so we better get some more oomph into it here. 
Act three. Three retries. Important not to lose your men. That's that's the hard part, so. Get these done as quick as I can. Grab a plate. Go up a level. Now let's get these ones. Alright, where is that? The evil gesture's not coming out. It's sort of freaking me out because... Come on, get up there. Doesn't get any quicker than that, that's for sure. He was pretty easy with me, wasn't he? All right, on to Act 4. I know we're going to see some fire in this level, so look out. Up to 32%. That's good. All right, let's get on there. Act 4. Still three retries. If I can get him through this level, I'll be happy. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay. See, now that one's on the on the right of the ground. Can't duck it. I would have to jump over it. Like that. Just like that. And I got the applause, too, which is perfect. There's some fire up there, but... Go away. Go away. Go away, fire. There's some more. Oh. Go away, fire. Notice the, the brick walls between... Oh! Oh, no. But I'm over top of the fire, so I'm, I get some applause points. He's, now what's he doing? Okay. Just gonna get up here. There it is, right there. That's awesome. Through level four. I always lose to men on uh, Act 5. I'm going to tell you that right now. It's rough. Have you two worked together before? He's not helping me. He's trying to hurt me. It's not part of the act. All right, here we go. Let's do it. Ugh. Go away, fire. See, it takes time. The audience turns on you. When, oh, will you take that much time? Oh, what's going on here? I couldn't get up out of the way. You can't jump it. So what do you do, right? I could have gotten back over by the plates and maybe hung on right at the plates and it would have been okay, but didn't work. All right, let's do it. We can do this level. Poof. He is all over me. Go away. Top here. Let's go over and get some plates. Good. Nice. We'll grab the plate and go up. All right, that's good. Come on, get up there. One more. Yes, all right, get through Act 5. And look at the down below. Pop popularity is going to be good. Yeah, 4%. And I lost 5% because I, I lost a man. But uh, still, that's not bad. I went up one overall. All right, on to Act 6. Two retries left. Let's see what we can do. Nice, okay. Get up there, get up, oh, not up there, up here. There we go. There's that bat. The bat sucks because it knocks down your plates. Oh, what the heck? Oh, I don't know it was. The knife went by, so I thought it was okay, but uh, oh well. The fake blood looks so real. Yeah, it's probably pretty real. I was, that's actually a pretty good start to that level, too. And, of course, I am not playing the easiest level, either. Uh, which makes it a little tougher. But it's a lot of fun. Oh, get up there! 
Oh, for freak's sake, okay. We'll take a plate up, just to... Alright, come on, just a few left. Now, I also can straighten up these plates, which I'm, since I'm down here anyway, I'm going to do it. But, it takes time. And that hurts your popularity. Oh, look at that. They threw the bat and knocked my plates all down. Yeah. No good. Rasa frasa. What's he doing? Let's get these ones. Ah, oh, it threw the bat right at the end. That's the end of it. Oh, tricky game right there, let me tell you. That's a tricky game. Oh, down to 40%. It eh, could have been a lot worse than that, I guess. I am done, right? I think I'm all done. Yep, all done. Right on. Let's get off to the other screen here. So that is... Oh, drop my controller. That is... The Show Must Go On from Intellivision Collector. It's IC002. Uh, available physically or digitally from www.intellivisioncollector.com. Check it out. Uh, it's been out now for a couple of years. Award-winning game was nominated for quite a few awards, including the music and the programming and game of the year and all that jazz. So it really is a, a great game uh, to try to pick up. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for spending uh, some time with me here today. But as they say, the show must go on. So we'll see you in the next episode of Old Guys and Old Games. You take care. Papa P, Papa P, the old ass gamer. What is going on guys? I'm CM Retro Gaming and you are watching Papa Pete, the old guy gamer. What the hell?